G'day and welcome to Dark Silly Gaming and I am Mod Showcase. This showcase is for the easy development commands by GTX. This mod has been developed by GTX to enable us to gain access to the development commands by Giants that are normally available only via the command line and once you've enabled the cheat mode in the launch game functionality. To gain access to the easy development commands, we just need to select it when we're launching our game from the mods that are available once we've put it in the mod folder of your directory. You will then press the F11 key to bring up the GUI and then you are presented with the screen along with up the top there are five main tabs for the main categories. The five categories are as follows, general, environment, player, fields and vehicle. So we'll go through those now and have a quick look. General provides us with money, bales, pallets, logs, silo contents, field of view, and tip collisions. So from here, you can actually add bales or pallets or logs to your game. You can also cheat crops into your silos, and you can also add remove money, and then also there are some development tools there as well. And also you can teleport your player to a field or a coordinate in the game. We'll come back and demonstrate some of these a little bit later, but we'll just continue on and go through the broader categories. So if we go to environment next, in the environment area, we have the ability to set the day or day and time. We can set the weather type. We've got the debug and we can reload weather data. We can reload the environment, uh, ambient sounds debug and toggle wildlife info on or off. For the player section, we have the ability to enter the flight no HUD mode, the flight state, which is for that flight no HUD mode, and the HUD state. We have super strength, wood cutting marker, the player debug, state machine debug, the jump debug. We can also buy and sell farmland, whether it be all or individual crops. We have a speed multiplier value. This speed multiplier value and the multiplier state are what will control your speed in running on the uh, game. Extra time scale, as you use the seven and eight key to increase or decrease your time scale, this will give you an extra time scale past the 120 times, and you can set that to a number of various different values up to 2000 times. The fourth tab is the easy development commands for fields. Here we have this split into two separate sections. One is for field fruit, the other is for field ground. The field fruit, enables you to actually set a fruit or a crop onto a field, whether it be wheat, grass, canola, sunflowers, whatever you wish to do. You can then set the growth state, the fertilizer state, the plowing state, the weed state, the lime state, the set spray state, and you can buy the farmland as well if you don't already own it as you are setting that field fruit. The other side is very similar. However, this is just the ground. So from here, you can actually set the ground condition. So it can be cultivated, plowed, all that sort of stuff. You've got the angle, you've got the fertilizer state, you've got the plowing state, the weed state, the lime state, remove foliage, and again, buy a farmland. Lastly, we have the tractor or the vehicles. With this one, we have a number of debugs available to us for the vehicles. So we have the vehicle debug, the tension belt debug, vehicle distance on or off, we can delete all vehicles and remove tire tracks. We can set the global wiper state. We can reload vehicles, set operating times, adjust the wear amount. We can fuel the vehicle as well, whether that be the vehicle with fuel or we can fuel the trailers that are attached to that vehicle. So for instance, if you have a truck with a tipper, you can fuel the tipper with a crop if you so wish to, especially when you're doing development and testing of maps, it's very handy. So, that is the broader categories of the easy development commands. So what we'll do is we'll showcase a couple of quick options on that, just so you can actually see how it all works. So if I was to escape, you can actually see we have no HUD here, and that is because I actually have the HUD mode enabled, which is under player. So flight no HUD mode is on, flight state is off, HUD state is off. If I turn the HUD state on, I turn the flight state on, I escape back out, my HUD is back invisible again but I also have the flight controls now enabled as well. All right, if we then come back into the menu, pressing again F11, 
we can go in here and we can add remove money so for instance if we want to add one million dollars to the game one million dollars just click off it and it gives you a little tip down here at the bottom of the screen and says added one million dollars if we just jump out you can see up in the top right hand corner that we've added one million dollars to the game we can also cheat into the silo so if we have a look at our silo here on Felsbrum I'll escape so currently wheat we have 14,107 litres so what we will do is we'll go wheat we'll have 500,000 and it's added 500,000 litres so if we now go back in and check we've filled up our silo with wheat between the two silos there's now 500,000 there's now 514,107 litres of wheat we can add pallets of wool so if we want to add pallets of wool or we want to add straw or whatever else we can do that very easily so we're going to add some straw bales there we go straw bales we then want to add some wool bales we can also go through and add some lime if we wish to all right so quite simply you can have all this sort of stuff come out very easy and very accessible for you okay so all that stuff is fairly easy we'll jump across now and we'll skip across the player the time scale we've already seen in fact we'll show you the time scale very quickly so at the moment i'm doing a five times time scale 15 30 60 120 and now 2000 so it just gives you the ability to fast forward very very easily next thing we'll do is we'll have a look at the fields all of our fields here are set to the default uh, layout as they currently are what we will do is we'll very quickly just go and set the field fruit we're going to set the field index so this is the field number to all we're going to set it all to grass growth state of four fertilizer state is going to be 100 percent lime state we're going to have on set spray on buy farmland on plowing state on and if we go and press the button here that should convert every field into grass and we should own every field and there you have it so all of our fields are now grass and if we go into the mini map we now own all the fields so now for instance if i want to go down here to field 20 our small square field here in front of us we can then also change that if we want we want to set the field ground I want to set that to a plowed. I want to set the fertilizer state to 50, the plowing state on, the lime state off, and the weed state off. And then all we do is go tick like that. And there you go. We've quickly set our field to a plowed state. So if you are setting up a game as a YouTuber or you're setting up your map, very, very quick and easy to set the conditions of your fields. So here we have the Fiat. And come out here there we go i want to fill that trailer up so we're going to come through here fill unit one we're going to fill that with wheat i'm going to press the button and there we go we've got wheat in the trailer and there you go so that gives you the easy development commands by gtx it is now available on the mod hub i'd like to thank gtx for giving me the option to early test this and also present it for you thanks so much for watching see you later